I am Maria Garcia de Fleury. Lucy was born on January 17, 1815, in Maiyang, Sichuan, China. She was the youngest of the five children. According to cultural customs, since Lucy was a child, she was engaged to marry. But Lucy, who was very pious, since she was 12 years old, she decided to remain as a virgin. And for that reason, she pretended to be crazy and her fiancé broke the marriage pact. She developed a love for reading and studying. At age 20, in the midst of her, her higher education at a convent, she became seriously ill and after her recovery, took her spiritual life even more seriously. She dedicated herself to prayer with great devotion and assumed a way of life very similar to that of a nun while remaining among her family. After her father's death, she lived with his brother and mother and in the, her free time, she taught the faith to nearby children and at a school in Mianjiang. After four years, they moved with her mother to Chongqing as his brother moved there to practice medicine. In Chongqing, encouraged by the local priest, she began teaching women in the parish. When she was offered money for her work, she refused to take it and offered her work to God. A few years later, her brother returned to Guiyang and their mother died. She decided to live in the convent of the lay virgins so she could continue her missionary work of spreading the gospel. Shortly afterward, poor health forced her to return home. In 1861, Bishop Hu asked her to teach once again at the convent and despite the opposition from relatives, she returned to work there. Next year, she opened a mission in Jiang Han Long, together with a priest named Father Wen. And at that time, the administration of Wisu province began to incite hatred against Christians and the local magistrate supported him. As a result, three Catholic laymen and Father Wen were imprisoned and sentenced to death without a formal trial. On February 18, when they were going to be executed, the authority authorities encountered Lucy Chi on the road and she was imprisoned. She was prosecuted that sa same day. They made advantageous offers if she renounced her faith, but she refused to renounce to Christ and the gospel. For this reason, she was sentenced to death. She was only 47 years of age. The next day, at noon on February 19, 1862, she was beheaded in the town of Kaiyang, near Mianjiang in Sikwani province. Before being executed, they wanted to undress her, but she strongly objected and they allowed her to remain clothed. The brave believers carried the bodies of the five martyrs to Liu Chongwang Seminary grounds for burial. After Lucy's martyrdom, her cap, her hat, stained with blood, was taken as a precious relic to her house and placed on her niece Paula, who was very, very sick. Immediately, young Paula was miraculously cured. St. Lucy G is a part of the group of holy martyrs of China, canonized by Pope John Paul II in the year 2000. In Wisu, there is today a church in memory of all of them because they all gave their lives to live their faith in Christ, convinced that it is with God with whom we always win.